Hello learners, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself Simran and today I will be guiding you all through this aptitude training session number 5. And today we are going to look at questions asked by the company Walmart in its aptitude round. So let's begin. This is the first question which is of the type quantitative aptitude. So the question says that an accurate clock shows 8 o'clock in the morning. Through how many degrees will the clock hand rotate when the clock shows 2 o'clock in the afternoon? Okay. So the question is in the morning a clock shows 8 o'clock. Okay. And in the afternoon it shows 2 o'clock. So during this how many degrees the R and rotated. So let's see how to uh, interpret such type of questions. So suppose this is the first clock which was in the morning and this is the second clock. Okay, so according to the question, <clears throat> it showed 8 o'clock. Okay, so this will be our R and correct. So this is the morning and it, in the afternoon it will show 2 o'clock. Correct. So uh, suppose we all know that when a circle, in a circle, the total angle is 360 degree. Correct? Why? Because it rotates in all the directions and come back to, come back to a, a certain point. So, uh, the total angle is 360. And on the clock, we have 12 sections from 1 to 12. So, the, let's see, this will be the first section. It is divided in such types, correct? So it will be 12 parts. So uh, the degree for single part or single sector will be 360 into 12. Right? Uh, why? Because the entire clock is divided into 12 parts. So the number of degrees for a single sector would be 360 into 12. Okay? And the difference between 8 and 2, if we count, this is 8, this is 2. So, the difference will be 6. Okay, because uh, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and 12 to 1, 1 to 2. So, the difference will be 6 hours. Hours. So, we will multiply this by 6. Because it has uh, traveled, the R and has traveled through 6 sectors. Correct. So, this is the uh, degrees for one sector and we need such degrees for six sectors. So, we will multiply it by six simply and the answer that we will get is nothing but C. Six ones are six, six twos are twelve and 360 divided by two which is 180. Okay, so the answer for this question will be 180. So, whenever you come across these type of question in which you need to find out the angle, through which the R and S travel. So just keep in mind that first you need to calculate the uh, degrees for one sector, which is 360 by 12 always, and then multiply it by whatever sectors the R and S travel. Then you will get the degrees that uh, by how much degree the R and S travel. So the answer is 180 degrees, which is the option D. Okay, so let's move ahead with the second question. This is a logical reasoning question wherein you are given a series of numbers and uh, you need to find out that what number comes the next. Okay, so uh, if you look at the series, the series is, let's draw it. So let's write these numbers. First is 36, then we have 34, then 30. Next, we have 28 and 24. 28 and 24. So, if you observe this sequence carefully, you will notice that the difference between each number, see, 36 minus 34 is 2. Then, 34 minus 30 is 4. Then, again, 30 minus 28 is 2. And, again, 28 minus 24 is 4. So, it is an alternating sequence of the difference of 2s and 4s. So, 
according to this sequence, the next number should have the difference 4. So you will simply subtract 24, of 2 from 24 and the answer will be 22. Okay. So this the answer for this question will be 22, which is the option number B. So when you come through these questions, be careful and find out what pattern you observe in the sequence and similarly apply the same pattern to the next number. So the option B is the answer for this question. This is the question number three, which is of verbal reasoning. So you have to fill in the blanks with the uh, correct option for this given sentence. So the sentence is, Stephen is always dash about showing up for work because he feels that tardiness is a sign of irresponsibility. So if you read this sentence properly, you will understand that Stephen uh, doesn't want to reach late. Your tardiness, the meaning of tardiness is reaching late for work. So he feels that reaching late is a sign of irresponsibility. So Stephen is always uh, legible cannot be the answer. Tolerable also cannot be the answer, but punctual. Punctual is just the opposite of tardiness. Okay, Tardiness is going late and punctual is being on time. So the answer will be Stephen is always punctual about showing up for work because he feels that tardiness is a sign of irresponsibility. So Stephen doesn't like tardiness, which means he likes punctuality. And punctuality will be the answer for this question because he is always punctual about going to work. Showing up for work means about going to work because he feels that going late to work is a sign of irresponsibility. Okay, So answer C is the correct answer. When these type of questions come up, uh, go through all the uh, possible options carefully and pick out the most appropriate answer that you feel according to the given sentence. So let's move ahead with the fourth question. This is, this is a question of verbal reasoning uh, as well. Uh, so give the antonym for impartial. And these are the four options. So uh, first find out the meaning of impartial and then see that which word correctly suits the antonym for impartial. Antonym means the opposite word. So find out the meaning of all the four options and check that which word is the opposite word for impartial. So do uh, find out the answer and comment it down in the chat box in the comment section. We will uh, surely look at your answer and let you know that you are right or wrong. Okay. So comment down the solution. In this session, we saw four questions. Okay. First was on the quantitative aptitude, which was the clock question, then the logical reasoning question, a verbal reasoning question and also a question which I have given to you to solve and don't forget to put the answer in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video. Do like it, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it. Thank you so much.